What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am out early in the morning here in uh, Reno, Nevada, just enjoying the day because it is beautiful today. But I got the uh, 2022 Tundra out and about, just breaking it in still. It doesn't even have 2000 miles on it yet, so still breaking it in. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a new product on my channel, a power bank. A portable power bank. This one is by a company called Blue Eddy. This is the new EB55 700 watt power bank. It's a portable power bank. And I want to talk to you guys about this one because this might be one of the best power banks you can buy at the price point for its size because it is compact. So let's take a closer look. So the reason why I want to tell you guys about this one specifically is because this one's impressive because this one is compact. It fits in my truck, no problem. Um, it's powerful at 700 watts and it has a whole bunch of plugins, which actually has more plugins than, say, other power banks that have more watts but less plugins. And the other huge selling point, in my opinion, is that this has a way higher um, charge cycle so for example this is a jackery 1000 uh, this is like a thousand dollar portable power bank by a different company with technically more power it's a 1000 watt um, power bank but you can only charge this and deplete it 500 times until it reaches 80 percent the cool thing about this one is yeah it's a little bit smaller at 700 not much smaller, but a little bit smaller. Um, but this one can be charged 2,500 times before it drops down to 80%. That to me is a huge, huge selling point, guys. This one has more plugins. This one has less plugins. This one has four 120 volt wall plugs, four USB, one USB C, uh, a DC outlet or 12 volt plugins, and then also a uh, wireless phone charger. You can just put it right up here and it'll charge your phone, which is kind of nice. The Jacker 1000, which is bigger and more expensive, only has three plugins, only has two USBs. It does have one uh, extra USB-C there, and that's it. There's no uh, wireless phone charger there either. Uh, another thing, too, is this one has a humongous light in the back. Look how big that light is. For camping, that's phenomenal. This one has a little tiny light. So not really a floodlight. This one is definitely better. Just tap it once. You get a low setting, a high setting, and an SOS strobe setting. I was thinking, you know, this would come in handy if uh, I needed to have light in the house if the power went out so check it out there we go it does light up the living room pretty good let's turn it up a little bit there we go there we go see so up there on top of the fridge lights up the living room we could still move around sit around talk have a meal around the table let's see turn it this way there we go there's the dining room table and it lights it up nicely and of course this would come in handy at the campsite as well let's go ahead and plug some things in and test this thing out this is my 2012 uh, macbook pro still running after all these years i'll plug it into one of the uh, 120 volt wall chargers Let's go ahead and power it up. There should be a little green light. There it is, there's a little green light. It shows you that it's energized. Turn on the uh, laptop. You guys probably can't see any of this, but there's a little lightning bolt saying that it's charging it up, so it is running. I know a lot of you guys probably won't be charging laptops when you're out camping, but some of you guys work on the road. You know, if you're an outdoor videographer or photographer, for example, that's probably the, the most common ones. Like me, I do YouTube. Um, I film all day at these events or whatever. Then I come back to my campsite and I edit pretty much all night long. So 
this is perfect for someone like me. Um, I also use um, action cameras and 360 cameras. So here's my 360 battery. I'll go ahead and plug that in. And then this is my action camera battery. I'll plug that in. There we go. Energize it. Should be a little green light that pops on. Yep, there it is. And then of course, pretty much everybody has a cell phone. So boom, as you can see, it has wireless cell phone charger right on the top. And you're good. And you can keep on going. There's still more. You know, you still have three more here. You have two more there. And you still have the DC right here. You still have a whole bunch of plugs. And their advertising says that you can plug something into every one of these um, inputs and it'll effectively charge everything. It controls electricity efficiently. But yeah, that's pretty awesome, guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. Again, the fact that it fits on the back of my truck, too, is important. So here's the Blue Eddy EB55. Put the handle down. Drop the seat. Fits perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Love it. And I can plug things into this while I'm driving. Just run the wires out. Or I can plug it into my 120 volt wall charger here and charge this while I'm driving as well. So that's kind of nice. So as you can see, bigger is not always better. Here's the Jackery 1000 with that fixed handle. And <laughs> it doesn't fit in the back of my truck. So this is obviously not a good option for me if I want to keep this in the back of the truck. I mean, I could put it there, but then that'll take up foot space, right? And I can also put it back here, but then it's not protected, it's not secured, and it's you know, open to the elements. Plus, I need to charge things while I'm driving, so I need it in here. And like I said, it's lightweight, so it only weighs 16.5 pounds, so it's not very heavy at all. You can carry it almost anywhere. So the actual specs on this, if you need to know the exact size, it's 10.94 inches wide, it's 7.87 7 inches deep, and it's 7.79 inches tall. So this is an EcoSmart LED bulb. It's uh, 9.5 watts that puts out 800 lumens. Let's see how it runs. All right, let's put this right there. All right, so I turned on the light up there. It's already on. And I'll plug it in here. And all you have to do to turn the light on is to hit this convenient power button right here that energizes these four sockets. All right, so watch this. We'll push this, turn it on, it'll turn green. Boom. There we go, we got lights. Here, we'll turn it off. And turn it on. <laughs> that comes in handy. All right, so I'm simulating a power outage. I got my EB55 on the dining room table here. It's running the uh, 800 lumen LED light. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my uh, MacBook Pro. You can plug in the phone and then use the internet from your phone to uh, connect to the internet when you are out and about camping or on the road. Mobile hotspot, boom. All right, so I have my laptop tethered to my cell phone. And now let's charge the cell phone. It bumped up to 23 watts, 22, 22, 23 watts. So now if I want to go on the internet, I can go on the internet with my laptop and I could literally be anywhere that the cell phone has connection. If the Wi-Fi goes out at home, I could use my cell phone or I'm camping or if I'm at a national park or just out on the road traveling, as long as I have my phone working, I have internet, as you can see. And another thing that's nice about this too is um, it actually has dual inputs here. So here's your um, wall adapter to charge this thing up. But yeah, it comes with a, a wall charger. And then it also has um, solar panel hookups here. So you could do either 
plug into your, your truck or your vehicle. It has a 12 volt adapter, so you can plug it right into your 12 volt in your vehicle. Um, or some vehicles like mine have the 120 volt plug-ins, so you can also plug in that as well. Or you can plug in a solar panel. It comes with the connector to a solar panel. They didn't send me a solar panel to demo for you guys, but they do make a 200 watt solar panel, which is kind of pricey, but um, it's very high efficient. So technically you could have this um, inside your tent or at your base camp, run the wires out to the sun to where your solar panel is and charge your power bank all day while you're out hiking, biking, whatever it is you're doing, the power bank is getting charged with the sun all day long. So something to consider though, it does say in the manual that uh, this will only take a 200 watt solar panel, which is fine. I mean, that's more than enough. That's actually a lot of um, watts. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is my review of the EB55 700 watt compact power bank. Again, I think that is a fantastic option for anyone that's shopping around for maybe their first power bank. You, know, you don't really know what you want. You don't know what you need. Well, I'm telling you right now, that's probably a nice uh, one power bank to do it all. It's, it's still big enough to power 12 devices, yet small enough to fit in the back of my vehicle. You could use it at home in case of a blackout or power outage. It'll still run um, your cell phones, your laptops, things like that, give you light so you can see around the house. You can use it obviously at the campsite. You know, you're at the campsite, you need a, uh, a base camp power bank. That's perfect for that. Again, it fits in the back of my truck perfectly. I'm assuming it'll fit in the back of your vehicle as well, especially if you have a smaller vehicle than my truck. And then of course, bugging out. You know, if you're gonna be um, bugging out for an emergency, uh, emergency situation, I don't know, fire, flood, earthquake, natural disaster of some type, you don't wanna leave the home without some kind of um, portable power bank, right? Because you're gonna need power at some point, um, at least to charge up batteries, right? Charge up um, a radio or a cell phone so you can get news, so you can see what's going on out there in the world. So again, probably one of the best power banks you can buy for the money. 499 bucks, 2,500 cycles of use compared to like 500 on the other one. It's a no brainer guys. Probably the best 500 bucks you'll spend on a power bank in my opinion. And the two year warranty and the uh, lifetime customer service. It's pretty much a no brainer guys. That's the one you wanna buy right there. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Um, hit that like button to support my channel. It helps me out a lot. Uh, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos and leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the Blue Eddy EV55. Um, and just to note too, um, they make a whole bunch of other power banks. So if you have an off-grid cabin and you wanna run that thing off-grid, like running your AC, if you had AC, I can't imagine <laughs> a cabin with AC, but if you wanted to run AC in an RV, or if you want to, wanted to run a full-size house refrigerator, and all your lights and a heater and all that stuff, they make a power bank that can run all of that if you wanted to. Of course, it's gonna cost you like 3,500 bucks, but they do make that level of power banks as well. So they have all kinds of different options. Check out the website um, if you wanna see what they have. But again, for the first time uh, power bank buyer, I think this is a really good option. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.